Hey guys, and welcome to the ninth ever weekly vlog, and it is the marathon vlog. What the fuck? It's already here. I'm gonna run a marathon tomorrow. So I think this vlog is gonna consist of today, which is Saturday the 6th. Guys, I can't believe it's here. I, can't, I actually cannot believe I'm meant to be running a marathon tomorrow. But anyway, cheers. I'm still trying to use up the shreddy greens because I just, the mango, the free soul ones are so much nicer, but I don't want waste, so I'm going to drink these. Anyway, this vlog is going to be today, tomorrow, which is marathon day, and then just like a couple days after getting back into normal routine. I literally can't believe the marathon is gonna be finished like what anyway i'm having my ginger shot and the immunity shot i'm not sure if i'm meant to be drinking these because i did get them about i want to say about two weeks ago now it can't be that bad oh okay i'm just gonna have this one okay guys i'm actually kind of scared that these are off um <laughs> So I don't think I'm gonna have them. Oh, so annoying, but I like imagine if I got sick today and I was like, guys, I can't do it. Yeah. Um, so basically today is gonna be a very chilled day. Also, I've done like no uni work, so today's gonna be a uni day. Um all this, also like keep me a bit distracted. And yeah. Oh. I'm gonna go in a minute to get a coffee, treat myself to a coffee, and I will um, buy like stuff that I wanna eat today slash tomorrow. I need to be eating like lots of carbs. Um, I also wanna eat and um, buy like a bar to have, like one of those Trek bars to have during the marathon. Um, and then I need to buy my peanut butter, the Pippin Nut Sweet and Salty peanut butter. I need to buy that i'm gonna go and buy that now um because it's just an essential and i need to have it before the marathon so and i'm also probably gonna have it for today's breakfast i just don't know how to carb load like i eat carbs anyway so i'm like i guess i just need to eat more of them um but yeah that's it really let the vlog commence let's bloody do it i'm a bit unsure what to wear today i don't know if i want to go like comfy Casual. I love these days when I can just chill, mooch around, do a bit of work. I also got this top from Dance and Matter. It's really cute on the back. Um, it's like similar to the other one that I have that I always wear under like jumpers because it comes to like a really nice length, it's not like cropped, which is perfect. Also, my skin is so dry at the moment. It's not you, but honestly. That bit of sun that I got, like, a bit of colour on my skin is literally making me so happy. Like, I just feel so much better about my life when I'm tanned. Don't we all? I just can't wait for it to be, like, 24-7 and I always just feel great. Um, well, that doesn't really happen, does it? But, like, I can't wait to be, like, properly tanned in summer. Also, I'm still using E45 because... My skin is just so sensitive. I just use this friend barrier repair serum. Um, that's pretty good for like hydrating your skin and stuff. But oh, yeah, I'm just gonna really take a chill today. Just have a really chill day. It's my OOTD. Got my VC jeans on. I don't know if you can see. Got my VC jeans on. And this is bomber jacket. This top is my grandma's and she had amazing style and it fits me perfectly. And my scrunchie is from a shop in the lanes called, it's the nail shop that I used to go to. Oh, what's it called? BW Collective. So that is the outfit to get some bits and bobs, get some coffee and yeah. They don't have the sweet and salty peanut butter. What am I gonna do? Co-op haul. These are. I'm gonna have one of these now. Some fruit. I'm gonna make my granola bars because they're like quite carby. Got myself a stamps. 
the guy in Starbucks was so kind to me. He told me he liked my jeans and that just made my day. So now I'm in a great mood. I'm um, gonna have my bagel, gonna have my coffee, and then probably go into town soon. Guys, I was just about to leave. My potential marathon outfits have come. I'm gonna unpackage them when I get back. But I've got a lot of breath. I'm gonna go to the coffee shop now and do some work. <laughs> CC has joined me. <laughs> God, guys, this is like the longest thing I've ever done in my life. But this is actually really nice, to be fair. And this is like my favourite thing from Gales. Guys, I got myself a little earring because my one of mine fell out on holiday, so I need to replace it before it closes up. Also, my work actually did go pretty well. Um, I got quite a lot done. Also. The girls that came up to me in Gales, I fucking love you. Like, I genuinely love you. Um, it's really sweet. So, yeah, home time now. Right. Vlog, we're doing a haul of things. Full time. Okay, so, first of all, I'm scared these are going to get delivered to my house. But it might be your sunglasses. Oh, no. Fuck, they didn't come. Ooh. 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 They're, they're really good. They're brand new. I got them from Depop because it was cheaper. They're like Post brand race. Spanking. Yeah, brilliant. Put some socks on. Oh, I'm so excited for those. They're really good. I'm really happy about that. I'm going to look on Depop now. You should. Because I'm. myself. Yes, you should. Stop it. Is that one? Okay, so this is potential race day. You're gonna have to help me choose. Okay. Okay, so this is color. one set. Are you have choices. Short, yeah. Um, really nice. Like this. And oh. Oh, okay. We've got a lot in here. Yeah, I think. Big one fly lot. Nice. Oh, that's. Now is it gonna be too hot? Ooh, that's really can you just because this take is the all off? black okay can, can you are you possible are you able to take it off midway well oh, i can like undo it no i think if you wear short and no it's gonna be fine do you think yeah so i can undo it a little bit right option one is gymshark like elevate <laughs> black outfit the vlog That's can't actually sleek. reply so what? It's gonna be on you. It's gonna be on you to okay. decide. Alright, well, oh, I'm gonna have quite the audience. Okay, and then we've got. What's that? Okay, nice. The same, okay. but in a blue. Ooh. Which I really like. I think you should go blue, I'm not gonna do lie. Do you think? Just because. I kind of do as well. You've just got a tan. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking blonde. You've got the tan on. This a is nice, what I'm light blue. Thinking, yeah. With your trainers. Okay, and then the other thing oh, is this is the top that I wear all the time for running, but I got it in black because I feel like that's just What, like over the top? No, this is just, I've just oh, wear just this the top, but I feel like this will be too hot. I think, I think you After should like 30, whatever. To the mono, monochrome. Yeah, I do. And I'm unsure what's in there. These are really nice shorts. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, but does your bum look hot? No, no, they don't. To be fair, they don't really move. I mean, no, I, I don't know. Oh, this is my wrong club. Ew. 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 Well, it's top secret, though. Um, oh, I'm a bit confused. I thought you already. Why is there a million? Of I these? thought you already had these. I do. More to come. Hey. Christmas came early. Right, so essentially, those are the options. And I are you thinking blue? Think blue because I'm fun. kind of thinking blue as well. Fun and we've got and time. if I have like sleek hair, yeah. Scrunch. Do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know if I wear a scrunch with the blue. Fair enough. Too I think much. It might be a bit marked. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, well, that was the haul. And you'll love to see what I wear. So it's officially marathon. Eve, it's like Christmas Eve, guys. I'm gonna have a bath. My bath's just run. 
I'm gonna make some chicken and sweet potato fries. I've eaten so much nice stuff today. Um, lots of carbs. I'm gonna theragun my legs and literally just watch a movie and like be horizontal. I don't even know what time I'm getting up or anything, but I need to get my stuff out. And yeah, I've got, I'm gonna have my bath now and then get prepared. It's giving beige, burnt dinner, but it's fine. <laughs> Guys, we're watching, what's it called? Fat, run, fat boy, run. In preparation for the marathon. Let's <clears throat> hope it gives me some inspo. Guys, Mads made mini egg cookies. Marathon Eve dessert. Am I allowed to take one now? You can get it. Yum, Bill. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> Behind the scenes. Hey guys, I'm just preparing for the marathon tomorrow. Oh, you're running a marathon tomorrow! <laughs> oh my god, that's so exciting. Wait, that sounded so rude. Wait, the film? I'm some electrolytes. What did you think of the film? Mm. 10 out of 10. Do you feel inspired? <laughs> Um, feel inspired. <gasps> I'm really inspired, <laughs> me, yeah. And I just got to pack my my vest for the morning. What are you? What are you? What's everyone doing tomorrow? <laughs> Someone's plans tomorrow. So yeah, that's it really. Marathon 2024. <laughs> We're just gonna eat the chicken burgers off. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it and drink. I'll be in the finishing. I'll be, I'll be at the pub. <laughs> God, I have to. I'm gonna film on 0 0.5 in cents so you can put it on Please the Please do. Mm. Oh, yeah, I was thinking that. that with the. What's um, your finish line Caesar face well. for when Martha sees you at the yeah, finish line? Yeah, you go in, love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did she say? I'm gonna cry. What's your um, finish line face? <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice. Me and Seth will be there in spirit. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'll see my phone. Martha has finished marathon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm picking out for oh. marathon. Yeah, that's a pack for everyone. Oh my god, when did you get that? Um, really? Yeah. Everyone loves the greens. This looks so musty on here, but <laughs> I'm picking out my gels. I'm thinking of having oh, five. <laughs> I think that's it. Guys, I'm seriously trying to decide my outfit. Oh, I've got scrunchy delivery. What do we think? Yeah. Oh, which one? Oh, they're quite similar. <laughs> Towards the night before Christmas. Got everything laid out for tomorrow. Fuck. We're ready. I mean, it's like half 11. I really need to go to sleep. So, sleep time for me. I will see you in the morning of the marathon. Night. Morning. It's the day. <laughs> Morning, guys. It is officially it's marathon day. What the hell? What I've been talking about? Oh, like these logs. It's here. Anyway, it is about 7 a.m. I am going to do like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm trying to like hydrate, hydrate myself as much as possible before the race. So I've literally just woken up. I'm gonna have my greens and put another electrolyte thing in here. I just got these ones off Amazon. Probably shouldn't be like trying new stuff like the day of the marathon or the day before. I tried these yesterday, um, but they're quite nice. I mean, what can go wrong? Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna have one of these in my vest. So greens, electrolytes, lots of water um and then i'm gonna have a coffee and a bagel um and then i'm gonna go get ready oh oh i thought that was greens um i'm gonna go get ready and then i'll probably have some time i'm hoping i have some time guys i don't know how it's already here it literally felt like christmas last night like but in the weirdest way like i was just sat there like i was trying to go to sleep my heart was like racing like Christ alive, I don't even know. Such a weird feeling, like, why am I doing like an adult sports day, do you know what I mean? Anyway, cheers. Mm. 
I treated myself to the free soul ones today. So much nicer. Anyway, I'm gonna make my breakfast and stuff. I'm probably just gonna like put on a full course or something. Or maybe I was just thinking, um, I'll look up if anyone else has done a marathon day vlog. I'm sure someone has. It's like so classic to look that up. Do you know what I mean? It's like you'd look up like first day of school, first day of like uni. <laughs> Anyway, so I might watch one of them if anyone's done one. Ah. Guys, I fully just burnt a bagel. I'm sorry, I'm, I know this is food waste, but I'm actually going to have to put that in the bin. Because we can't really be having a burnt bagel on Marathon Day. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, my phone just dropped. Which one looks nicer? Definitely this one. Right, let's go for that then. Alright, I've made myself a little coffee. I felt that this was the only appropriate mug for the day. <sighs> I never really have coffees before runs, but I feel like this is an exception because I need I need shit. I need shit before a run because I'm not yeah, let's just not talk about that. Um but anyways I don't have nothing to stir this with. One sec. Oh. I'm drinking it with a straw, but mm. Mm, 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 mm. yeah. I'm gonna go and get ready in a sec, but oh, I'm literally so nervous. <laughs> Let's just go and get a bit fresh air. I'm so nervous. I'm literally sat there with like so much adrenaline. <sighs> I've had my bagel. I literally had to like force feed myself it. I'm so happy it's sunny, guys. Like, how perfect is it that it's sunny? It is quite cold, but like, oh, just so happy. Anyway, let's get ready soon. But yeah, I'm literally just sat there like, I feel like I've got like an A-level exam or something. Okay, guys, I'm like mid getting ready. I've done a little bit of bronzer. I feel like I'm literally going to like a cheer competition or something. <laughs> and I've got a scrunchie in my hair. Um, I've done my hair like pretty slick. Oh, I don't know how the scrunchie looks, but I feel like it's better to have one because I'll be more easily identifiable to like my parents and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm unsure whether, I know you can't answer this, but I don't know whether to wear this vest underneath my jacket. I'm going all black, by the way. Um, because I'm kind of scared I'm going to get hot in the jacket. But then I'll get even hotter if I wear the vest underneath. Like, what if I'll be fine with just a jacket? Oh, I don't know. I really can't decide. Okay, we have the final outfit on. Gymshark Elevate. So I thought black is the sleekest look. I think blue would be lovely, but like, I've also got this scrunchie so people could, could identify me, like I said. Um, well, my parents. And... Yeah, this is the look. I've got pure sports socks. I'll be wearing my on cloud eclipse shoes. And then I've got this set. And then I've, I have got the vest on under just because I just have. I've never run in it, which is probably a bit silly, but meh. What's the worst that can happen? Got my number, got my vest. And I'm going to be packing my gels, my cliff bar. And then, like, Percy Pigs, a couple dates, pouch with electrolytes, a pouch with water, I think. Um, I think that's it. And I'm taking this hoodie to the start line. Um, and then I think if you put them on the ground they or put them in a box, they donate them to charity. So that's a jumper that I am fine to lose. Um, but, yeah. I think we're almost ready to go. I'm just waiting for the girls to get ready and then they can walk me to the start line. Guys, en route to the day. En route. En route, it's the big day. It's the big day. Fucking hell, it weighs about 10 pounds. She's looking great, the outfit. She didn't go with blue, unfortunately. But here we are. She's got a pop of blue in the scrunchie. Yeah. And we're feeling great. We're feeling great and we're gonna do it. We're gonna, she's gonna Woo! fucking smash it. <laughs> Guys, you've just heard the first wave go. Maybe that was the first. Yeah, the athletes. Oh, 
Guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck, everyone. Come on, Martha, get uh, get moved. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, guys. I gotta go on the pink wave. On the pink wave. Three, two, one, pink wave, off you go! Oh, I'm walking up the hill because I really don't want to lose energy. Fuck. About halfway. Oh my fucking god, guys. I did it. I did it. Ah! Guys, look at all my supporters. He's got an eye on oh, Martha. <laughs> Fuck my life. Oh my god, Liz. She's so cute. Guys, I've done it. Bloody done it. She bloody I have my number one supporters. I can't. I'm so one. proud of her. Oh, I've fucking done it and I can't believe it. It's absolute chaos. It feels like a festival. But we're going for a drink. Oh, I can't have my sister. Can we go say hi, Mr. Huh? Can we go say hi, Oh, fuck off. Oh, my lish. And the hats. And the wee hats. Oh, my God. Our post race food. Aperol. Chicken. Oh, thank you so much. Cheers everyone. <laughs> Three, Tequila. two, one. Hey. Hey. Cheers to that. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Oh yeah. yeah. How are you feeling? Are you feeling? Are you feeling? Are you feeling? Got Cecily maybe my carrot cake <laughs> marathon. Check. Check. <laughs> oh my god. I can't bloody it's wait. Good, it's not a pie. Yeah, but it's still just like, like with champagne. Three. Champagne. It's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys. I finished the bloody marathon, didn't I? I'm just going to give you a little debrief. Running myself a bath. I am absolutely fucking. Exhausted. I'm absolutely exhausted. But I thought I'd give you a little debrief. Basically, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. But it was so hard. I hit a wall at like 28 kilometres. And it was so hard. Like, I feel like, because you see on Instagram people doing marathons and shit. You think, like, it won't be that bad. It was so I'm just giving the vlog a debrief. Do you want to say hi? Oh, I'm really good at rough right now. Hi guys. How's the debrief coming? Rosie's staying at mine tonight because she came to support me. I'm having a sleepover. I'm having a slumber party. We just ordered what a Chinese. A I can't um, wait for the Chinese. Not even hungry. I've had loads of carrot cake and chicken bur burger, but I just <laughs> wanted one. We just want something to. We just want on. something to do, really. <laughs> To do. Anyway, riding myself a bath. Moral of the story was it was amazing, absolutely amazing, but just it was a lot. My legs felt like lead, <laughs> literally like lead. There were tears. There were multiple tears. Um, literally called my mom crying and was like, I can't do it. But I did it. I did it, and that's all sort that of matters, really, isn't it? Um. But anyway, gonna have a bath, get our Chinese, and just lay horizontal for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I'm thinking we even have the Chinese in bed, honestly. So what? I Are you? Yeah. You watch, watch a movie something. here? Yeah. yeah Brilliant. That's sat them. That's the plan for the night. All right, guys. In a bit. Hi, guys. <sighs> in a bit. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> Look how nice that looks. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Morning guys. I did it. I literally did run the marathon. 
so crazy. Um, I just woke up, it's about eight o'clock. I would have loved to sleep for about 16 hours, but I got nine. No, I think nine hours sleep is quite good. Um, I just want to say yesterday was absolutely amazing. It was just like, oh, it was just so like, I don't know if I said on here, but I literally felt like it was my birthday because of like all the like support and like, by the way, if any of you are watching this that saw me yesterday, thank you so much because you literally kept me going. Like, the thing is that, like now I'm like glam, like not glamorizing it, but I like I'm like oh my god, it was so amazing. But guys, when I tell you, it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Like I literally called my, oh, I think I said this last night, but like I called my mum, literally being like, mum, I can't do it. Like I actually like my. So I got to about 28k. I don't know if I already said this all last night. I literally can't remember. And my legs just felt like bricks. And like, it, guys, oh, I, I can't explain to you how hard it was. Like, there were actual tears. Um, but like, the atmosphere was so amazing. And like, people were so sweet. Like, just like being like, you're right. Like, all of this stuff. Like, and then like, I would ask people if they're all right. Like, you're right, girl. Um, it's just like it really does just restore my faith in humanity like like races like i just think like everyone's just so sweet like yeah but anyway and after the race was so nice just went for food and drinks with my family and friends and like i don't know i never really like get my family and friends together it was so nice and i just really felt the love i just felt like yeah it was very special um, but my legs, guys, I can't walk down the stairs, like, I literally can barely walk without, like, it, it kills to walk, like, really hurts to walk, um, so that's something, I literally had a bath last night, but it did nothing, um, then we obviously got the Chinese, oh god, I can't believe I've literally run a marathon though, but yeah, my legs are in absolute agony, um, I'm gonna edit this vlog and see how much like I've got because I kind of want to make it just like marathon based um and then start a new weekly vlog next week but um I think me and Rosie stayed um Rosie stayed over last night so I think we're gonna go for coffee I hope now I can like just walk around and mooch around <laughs> and then we'll probably go for some brunch at my favorite place in Brighton it's called Moksha such good food there um but yeah i'm just gonna take it really chilled obviously but um lots of water etc how do i make my legs not hurt is the question um but anyway uh so let's go on with the day we're off from what was you guys Should do a little otd rosie's otd oh love it it's my otd otd slaying Yes, we love them. They're literally the best things I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> I might get the brown version as well. Anyway, I've got to drop my car in for an MOT now. Brilliant. And then coffee and food. Can't bastard wait. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Thank you. Hey guys, Rosie has unfortunately left me out. Really sad, but it's actually a gorgeously stunning day. I'm just sorting out my room because when I have a busy like time, I just shove things in corners and just like hope that it goes away. Like for example, that corner, like all of this stuff has been in there. Superdrug very kindly sent me like a box of like um what's it called? Kind of like recovery stuff. Very excited for this. Um I hope my address isn't anywhere. No, it's not. Um, and yeah, it's stunning. And basically all of this stuff was just shoved into there. So I'm just trying to sort it all out. I need to sort that out as well. Because I always sort that out. And then it comes back to turning like this. But anyway, just trying to rejig my life. And then I'll probably get on with some uni work. A la bibliothèque. Nous sommes à la bibliothèque à ce Oh, she's French. Oh, if anyone can translate that. <laughs> hey guys, I did some work, but I've left now because I feel a bit sick. And I also just feel like really, I just need to lie down. I mean, it's not surprising 
considering I did the marathon yesterday. But yeah, I'm just feeling a bit worse for wear. So I'm gonna pick my car up from the MOT and then just go and lie down. I think I just need some recovery time and some cake. Um, yeah. Guys, I feel so broken. I've literally been hobbling around Brighton the whole day. Just picked up my car. It was 400 pounds. Not awful for a service in MOT, but that's because stuff always goes wrong with my cars. But I pay for it now, so it's fine. God, I need to be horizontal. Fuck. I am actually coming to you right now from the next morning to what you've just seen, but I ended the vlog last night and then this morning I was just thinking I should give like my tips. Like obviously I'm not an expert, but I know a lot of people are like training for a marathon, gonna run a marathon, gonna run a half, or like thinking about it. And I just thought maybe I could give some insight slash just like the main things that have stuck in my head that I would say to someone else kind of thing. Um I'm not really gonna do the training phase, just more like marathon day. Uh, training phase obviously I use runner that's my plan like that gives me a plan that's how I've been able to train for a marathon because they give you a plan I don't know if you I don't know because I wonder if people come from just YouTube and just don't watch my Instagram or anything but it runners basically this app which gives you a plan and I have a code Martha2 gets you two weeks free trial like they'll make you a plan and then you can carry on if you want, basically, but yeah, couldn't recommend it enough, essentially. Um, I don't know what I would do without it. Um, but yeah, that is my like training vlog. Obviously, just like sleep, rest, recovery, eat. One of the main things is to just not be scared of eating a lot, like more than you're used to. Like, oh god, probably shouldn't have put the tap on right now. Um, but yeah, just don't be scared of eating more than you used to because you're using so much more energy than you normally do. Like it's not like a normal thing to be running those, that amount of miles like every week. Um, so yeah, eat more, just bloody eat more, just do it, your body needs it. Um, even if you're like just starting to run and doing like five and 10 Ks, like your body will need more food because it's not used to it. Um, anyway. Let's go on to race day. Okay, so I woke up like two and a half hours before, um, ate a big breakfast as soon as I woke up, and I also um, drank like over a litre of water like as soon as I woke up, just because I thought if it's in my body, and then I tried to like wait as much as possible before I left for the race, um, just to like make sure I have like good stuff in me, even though I literally had to force feed myself that bagel. Um, but yeah, let me think um just make sure you have enough gels i used a gel for every seven kilometers maybe i said it in here but i use the high five ones i literally get them off amazon they're actually really nice they taste like sweets um i also took dates oh, you've seen you've seen my tech so that's the right manner but um having people there to support you is like the best thing ever and try and make sure that you kind of know where they're gonna be um also i literally took water at every single opportunity like i sprayed it on my legs my arms even people like they like swash it in their mouth and then spit it out just to like make your body think it's hydrated more hydrated than it is if that makes sense um don't be scared to walk like this is probably the biggest thing like i walked so much during the marathon like i walked like literally 5 km because there was a hill and I was speaking to someone a couple of weeks ago and they said like honestly I wish I walked up the hills um to like save energy because they use so much energy running up a hill um and so I was like you know what? I'm going to take that advice and just do it because it really does take up a lot of energy so I just walked up the hills even though I wasn't like like people were, like saying to me like you got this and I was like I'm literally fine okay <laughs> like um <clears throat> so yeah it's fine to walk like it's so fine and um wear something that you're comfortable in obviously and just try and enjoy it like it is so fucking hard though like 
I can't even tell you how hard it is. <laughs> like, I don't want to glamorize running a marathon, to be honest, because it's so hard, but it's an amazing achievement. And I think it's just like a lot of highs and lows, um, like not only in the training, but on the actual day, like it's such a day to remember. Um, and yeah, like if anyone is running a marathon or half marathon, good luck. And just, I mean, I was really nervous before, but there's nothing to be nervous about. Like, you're going to do it and it's going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, sorry if that was a bit skew if. I didn't really think about any of that before, but those are my main tips. Anyway, um, let's get back to me yesterday. <laughs> hey guys, I have just had my dinner. I'm just downstairs watching shameless i'm gonna have a fat slice of that i had salmon rice avocado and like sriracha mayo and teriyaki not teriyaki soy sauce so good um i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because it's a marathon based vlog so yeah but there'll be in like a normal weekly vlog next week probs um yeah thank you so much for watching and just thank you if you like messaged me or like i saw you yesterday it was literally i oh, just it was amazing so yeah thank you so much and love you and i'll see you in the next video